How do you do, everybody? Welcome to Basketball Action as the new Trevor Trevians take on the main East Demons in Basketball Action from February 22nd, 2021. A game at Venerable Gates Gym at New Trier. And the Blue Demons have inbounded it. And we're underway. They've got it on the far side. And blocked by Monroe coming back the other way. And Will Geis up and no. And the putback by Jackson Monroe. Knocked out of bounds by Geis. And the inbound by the Blue Demons. We'll just call them the Demons. Up top, deflected, and that was the reason it wasn't forward and back. On the side, Maine East now one of the smaller schools in the Central Suburban League. At about, I think about 1,600. They're not the smallest, but at one time they were in the central suburban south 20 years ago. Main South, when they moved over to the central suburban south, that's who they replaced was their sister school, Main East. Demons with it, up top. Driving the baseline, back out high, going for the long three and hits it. Canellas brings it across the timeline, gave it to Kirkpatrick. Canellas and Monroe over to the side, they shot for the three, no. And out of bounds. Last touch by the Trevians. Demons with the basketball. Driving and trip put it up. No. And they're calling it player control fall. Whoops, we can't get this, the scoreboard from here. Got the post in the way. This is one of the last games where that will be a factor. As this gym is now scheduled for demolition. Up top, going for the three. Yes, Kirkpatrick. Up top. Rotating it around. To the side, and the three shot, yes, Swishery for three. Was that Geis with it? And yeah, we're also going to get the, uh, the COVID timeout here. Trevian's leading 8-6. Inbounded by the Demons. They get a minute and a half timeout uh, as part of the uh, protocol, COVID protocol, 
Up top, and whoops, forward and back. On the mishandle. And the inbound, Canellos, give it a guys, up top, Kirkpatrick, Monroe, Kirkpatrick, and all the way out, Canellos had to chase it down. Back out high, and they shot. Good by Monroe. I take that back. That was Cohen. Cohen that, that got that Finn Cohen. And the foul. Travians have games backed up. because of the uh, shutdown for COVID. So they've got a game in real time tonight. They have a game in real time tomorrow night. They have a game in real time the night after that. They're off one day and then have another two, un unless they've changed the schedule and added another one on, on that one off day. They have one every single day this week. On the side, up top. On the rotation. And going for the three, no. Bit short. Out ahead and trying to get in. Couldn't get around the man. Trevians have a tremendous sight, uh, height advantage here. Tallest player on the Maine East squad is just six foot three. And uh, Trivians are six foot four, six foot eight. Six, we have one six ten finally here tonight. Going to get a chance to play. From the outside for the three, no. And Canales with uh, the running gun. But Canales will go to the line for two shots. First quarter, basketball here on the network. Glad to have you. And Canales gets the first. And the substitutions again. Fin Finnegan, Picar, Aiden Brayboy, and Carlo Kolak. I think I got everybody. And the three from the outside. Oh, Finnick. They again couldn't count, come in because he's coming in for the shooter. Canellos uh, first chance they get here. The next stop at your play, they'll bring him. And the run and gun, up and in. And Carlo Kolak with the basket. On the side, drive the baseline, tried to feed it in the, the lane, no kick. And now finally Finnegan comes in and Canellos comes out.
Finish up the substitutions. The inbound, kick back out. Up top. And drive the lane, scoop it up. No, a bit short. Coming back the other way, quickly, running gun, up and in on the deuce. Picar with the basket for the Trevians. And a little traveling. I think that was an up and down travel. First quarter. Basketball here at New Trier. The Trevians and the Demons from outside. Shot short. Into the paint. Up and yep by Toth. He said Toth. I don't see Toth out there. Oh, yeah. There he is. Finnegan kicked it out, corner, back up top, Picar, the reset, and go for the three, no. And we're done with the first quarter. Trevian's leading 19-9 at the end of the first quarter. And we'll go right on to the second quarter here. Trevian's have inbounded it. Kirkpatrick to Canellos. Back to Kirkpatrick. And tried to take the shot. No, he got fouled. And Josh Kirkpatrick goes to the line, gets the first. Gets the second. Up top. And kick. Possession retained by the Demons of Maine East. Maine East in. I, I'm not sure if they're Niles or Park Ridge. I think they're Park Ridge. But uh, right on Dempster, just as you get off the tollway, the original Main East. And about the most famous alum to come out of there is actor Harrison Ford. Cross the timeline. Up and in. Cohen, uh, Finn Cohen with the basket. And traveling. I'm a traveling man. Been a lot of places all over the world. Guys. To Canellas. Canellas out high. Driving and up and in by Canellos. Couple of substitutions getting set to come in. Trevian's spreading the lead out a little bit. And going for the three. No, heavy. Monroe gave it to Canellos. Put it to the corner. 
Geis. Geis, top of the key, takes the shot, no. Coming back the other way. Up and in for the deuce. And the Trevians back the other way. Monroe in tight. And given away by Cohen. Whoa, okay. Picked up by Trevians. Nice move. Outside three. Beautiful shot. Wow. Great teamwork there. And Josh Kirkpatrick finishes it off. Monroe and Monroe with the initial steal and bringing it forward. And then I think that was Cohen that dished it off to Kirkpatrick outside for the fadeaway swishery for three. On the side, going for the three bank the other way. Nope. And the Trevians bring it back quickly. Canellas. Monroe back to Canellas. And out of bounds. And the wholesale substitutions, and it's another television timeout. Trevian's leading 28 to 11. 4.23 left to play in the first half. And the Trevians will inbound. We've gotten the wholesale line change again. Noah Shannon. Toe. Outside Finnegan. Fegan, rather, and Fegan, chance for three-point play the hard way. So Fegan goes for the three-point play and makes it. You know, from the free-throw line, they're doing better than they did against Glenbrook South. They didn't have it. Make a free throw that whole game. And they're calling that a uh, player control foul. Trevians by 20. Picard to Shannon. And from the outside, a swishery for three by Geis. Gave it to the wrong guy. It was Will Geist that got that. Not Fegan. Up top to the corner. Going for the three. No. Try again. No. And the Trevians have it. On the rebound. The running gun. No. Got the rebound. And I think, yeah, I fell out of bounds. Could have been traveling, too, either one of them. Kolak comes in for Jacob Toth. David with the basketball. Trevians with the big lead. Up top of the key. And the setup on the rotation. Drive the baseline. Tried to spin. Kicked it to the corner. Going for the three. No, short. And Trevians with it. Picard gave it off. 
Bray Boy. And now figuring what the fadeaway no. Come on back and the foul. And Shannon with the foul. Toth checks back in. And he checked in for, I believe, Picar. And inbounded. And take it again and coming back the other way. We've got another audio going on from this game. So you're going to hear strange noises and buzzers and stuff in the background. Maynese with the basketball. And last touch by the Trevians on the reach-in. I mean, it was a good re reach-in, but... Now they demons with it. See if that helps a little bit. We'll play it around a little bit here. Up top, going for the three. Nope. On the far side. And Trevians. Ride the baseline, scoop it up and in. Kolak with the basket. Up top. And jump ball. And it is Trevian's basketball on the jump ball, alternate possession. Kolak inbounds it. Back to Kolak. In tight. Back up top. Bray Boy off the fingertips, up and in. And Toth finishes it off with the deuce. And Tyler Van Gorp set to make his varsity debut here. Winding down the first half. So Tyler Van Gorp checks in. Up top. Up top for the three. Yes, Swishery for three. And coming back underneath. Tyler Van Gorp tries for it. No. And that'll do it for the first half. We'll be back with more basketball action. Well, we'll we're keeping it here this year, so I guess we will be back. But all we're going to do is take the score and then come on back here. The Trevians leading big here at halftime, 40-14. to 14. And the Demons will inbound it. As we start the second half. Travians play the Highland Park Giants. In the next game. Highland Park, uh, an old Central Suburban League uh, rivalry. Going back many years. Highland Park opened in the, I want to say the 30s, something like that.
or late 20s, early 30s. They were originally the Little Giants. And that was because that is the nickname of the teams from Wabash College and their basketball coach at the time went to Wabash. And at three for Carlo Kolak. Swishery for three. And the shot, no. And out of bounds, Trevian's basketball. Kolak inbounds it. Picard to Kolak. Tolt, rather. Coming back. A little run and gun, and it works. Strong arming it up and in. Kolak. Give it to Tolt. Up top, Picard. To Brayboy. And again out high. Inside. And back. And the scoop up and in by Brayboy. Aiden Brayboy with the nice deuce. Up top, going for the three. Nope, short. I saw, uh, I have seen the workup on what is going to replace this gym. And it will include uh, four sided seating. And from the outside, a three. No. But of course, you know, 93 years is a lot of time for tradition. And I'm sure there are a lot of people that are very sad to see this place go. It has a lot of character. And it is ranked among the top ten places to watch a high school basketball game in the state of Illinois. Generally, though, the number one place is a little small school down in southern Illinois, West Frankfurt. Their gym seats 7,500 in two floors. It's a really a beautiful place. Outside for three. No. A little traveling, I think. Coming back. Sometimes I talk about some of the weirdest things. On the side. I never understood Harry Carey and Jack Brickhouse when they'd start talking about old-time games and old-time players and whatever. Now I understand. Fifty years of doing this, now I understand. Coming back. Inside and up and in on the nice reverse. And the block. And Trevian's lead by 27. And stolen. And Picar up and in. On the steal. Up and no. Brought down by Shannon. Dished it off up top. Toth 
Rotation again. And up and in by Kolak. Kicked out of bounds. Possession. Trevians, Cole Handelman, and uh, Tyler Van Gorp check into the game. Tyler, sophomore, big, tall drink of water at 6'10". We got another one of those. Last time we had stuff like that was the Twin Towers. Kieron Brayboy and uh, Spencer Bain and Sam S Silverstein. The three of them were all 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", in that general range. And now with uh, Tyler Van Gorp and then uh, Jackson Monroe, Again, we've got two tall trees. Of course, this team as a whole is all in that general 6-4 range. Got a lot of them. Handelman, Kolak in for Van Gorp. He took the shot, and I think that might have been deflected. Outside, going for the three. No. Trevians with the rebound. Handle it. Dish it off to the side. Up top. On the rotation. And thrown away. I don't know what that was, but Coach isn't too happy with it for obvious reasons. Out the inbound. Demons with it. Nutri with the big lead. Drive the lane back up top and traveling. Took a couple of steps before he dished it off. Some happy feet. With the gym here being scheduled for demolition, I went back and the oldest film of a basketball game that I've been able, uh, that, that was here at the school. Uh, might be able to find something somewhere. No, goaltending. Offensive goaltending. Uh, are two parts of two games from uh, 1964. An Evanston game and a Pro Proviso East game. And saved, but knocked out of bounds by the Trevians trying to grab hold of it. And those games are up as archive games on the Internet, which means there's no audio or anything. There's just the basketball, whatever film it loaded up the film. Handling up top. Worked around. Trying to double team a little bit. To the side. Now in for Van Garp. Takes the jump. Yes. And those are his first 
varsity points. Tyler Van Gorp, the sophomore, gets two. Into the paint. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Trevians. Knocking it away. In the corner. Nope. And we're done with the third quarter. And the Trevians leading by a bunch here. 53-22, Trevians lead. As we go to the fourth quarter, Nutrier will inbound. Quickly to Schmelter in for Van Gorp, and Van Gorp with the easy layup, easy jump shot, as it were. Takes the shot. No, he traveled. One too many bounces, jumps. Handling with the basketball. Now he dishes it off to the far side. Tried to go inside and bounced it back out. Nearly lost it. Kolak and Kolak with the fall. Like I said, I'm old enough to go back to the days when they called that instead of player control charging. They just called it charging. Mateo Miller checks into the game for the Trevians. On the side. And a push off, a uh, foul. We've got a little bit of running time clock thrown in here. And stolen by Shannon. Up ahead and bang. Slam a jam for Tyler Van Gort. I go back to the old days when what he just did would have been a technical hanging on that, that rim. And stolen. And another slam and jam. Noah Shannon with the slam and jam. In a sense, that's more impressive because Shannon's six inches shorter than Van Gorp. Van Gorp just blocked the shot. Up top, and he traveled. And the timeout, 59-22. Drive is with the lead. In body. In the way he looks body-wise, Tyler Van Gorp reminds me of Abba Coida, of, uh, who played for us in 1996 and then played professional basketball back in Europe. You know, they didn't develop Size, you know, it's it's all it's all leg, skinny leg, and it. I used to j joke about Abba that 
I was scared to death to watch him going down that court because I was so afraid he'd, like a matchstick, he's going to bust his legs. He didn't, I mean, and he went to uh, Bradley University, played on the Bradley team, and boy, did he flesh out. He got to be a pretty stocky kid. Yeah, and, you know, Tyler's a sophomore, so, you know, he's still growing. And, uh, you know, he'll grow into his body. It's just... The stage he's at. On the side, I mean, I'm not bo bo poking fun. I'm just... Uh, it's just reminiscing, in a sense. That's all. Up top, Handelman. Van Gorp put it back out high. They're very high uh, in praise of Tyler. Into the paint, kick back out. And Van Gorp, whoa, just couldn't get it to drop. In the corner, drive the baseline, kicked it back out high. And the shot, no. Van Gorp with the rebound. Handleman, far side. Up top. Schmelter had it briefly now. Back to the corner, and Swishery for three by Mateo Miller. Up top. And switch ready for three the other way. Handleman. Van Gort. Underneath. Oh, up and over. Nice play. A little backdoor play, but it didn't. Everything but making it work. Gort steals it. Literally right out of the hand, trying to let, go for the layup. Going for the three. Yes. Swishery for three. And Will Schmelter with the basket. Drive the paint. Nope. Trevians with the rebound. Handleman. And up top, Van Gorp. Kick back out high. Miller gave it to Handelman. Handelman to the far side. And Trevian's just trying to kill out the clock here. And that'll do it. And the new Trier Trevians are victorious. 65-27, the final score. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Stick around for more sports action on the network. You can catch this game on YouTube, on uh, new Trier Television, and some of our other network affiliates. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody. This has been a Metro Chicago Sports Network copyrighted presentation, all rights reserved.